Hi, this is Chen. This is going to be my first demo for Photobi. Photobi 7 is just published. In this demo, I'm going to show you some couple of new features. Here you will see the Photobi, the main GUI. The interface is organized this way. All the menus are on top. Some kind of very frequently used toolbars are on the laptop. And the coloring tools are on the right bottom. On top of that are the select, select region selection tools and all the painting tools. All the painting tools are here. And this part are reserved to be used for each kind of painting tools or selection tools. So the options are showing here. Now let's open the image. So you click on open and now you open the image. We'll bring up in your main application is it's a, a window that you can move. If you want to make, maximize it, just click on this tool this button maximum image on this window so you have full walking space on that now you can use the scroll bar to scroll it as well and it will also show a show us here um, which can be used if you have open multiple others as well you can mo choose multiple of them as well you can open multiple and both all of them will show up as well so you can switch between them if you want now let's go to the first image With Photo B7, the color panel is improved, much improved. So you have a color wheel allow you to move to the right color you want, and also I'll adjust the color exactly the color, um, the brightness color, and the detail of the color. So it's very convenient, and the color palette too is getting larger. And also, you can choose the color very easily from here. And all this color can be maximized. You can uh, can be customized. You can add new color to all those grid, and you can delete any color on this. And you can save the color. You can load different color palette to this part. So, and the color list um, is a new feature that that shows all the named colors, the known colors that we can remember with some names. So you can pick up the color very easily, um, and the features of um, the painting tools are showing on this place. Say if you select any any uh, tool, the all the options will show up here. So I have just to have a brush to a uh, um, airbrush tool. I can click the pressure and sparse, and then I can. Just select the color I want. Say I want a um, a blue color, so I can blue on this on this um, on this red you know wall. Then what I can do is I can use that airbrush tool to draw any color. I can change different color and do that again. See how they mixed up very easily. All right, so that's some very simple color too. Um, and also um, you can the most advanced tool for photo B um, really very convenient for the digital scrapbooking. So you can import an image to become a brush. Say I have this image as a brush. I have options of using original image or not original image. If not original image um, then then you can use the uh, color to override that color. Say, I want a blue butterfly here. Then, if you click, it becomes a, shows up there. And you can you can even you can even draw with that. So it becomes a brush that you can draw. Okay, you can choose the very special shape so that give you a, a specific result. And you can choose using original image. If the original is original PNG. 
and background is transparent, that's perfect for this um, brush. If it's not, then you can do some, you know, cut up to extract that out to make this a brush. So if I click, see how the Im original image get there? Very simple. Um, and they have options to add new image, select new image, um, you know, I don't have a good image here. Um, you can, you know, organize your image category. See, I see all those, all those folders. I have all kinds of image I have. You know, I can choose general and have a bunch of other things that I have. Um, and it, it's tons of image I can have. See, you can show here this lot. See, I can green, I can use. I use not using over color. I can use in the green leaves. I can put here very easily. Okay, there are all kinds of other tools: text tool, eraser, um, smudge tool. Smudge tool is very interesting. You can click on that. Say you want to, you know, screw up some area. You can smudge that. It's just kind of like a smudge. You know, it can make it messy, but some kind of give you very special. Uh, Effect that you would like it to use it. Sometimes you use it for take off some kind of small stuff from from people's face. Say it's kind of color is not good. You want to take take that out, so you can use smudge to say here. I want to take out the, the the white, the bright one out, so I can use smudge to to blend it with the surrounding colors. Okay. Um. There's layer two here. The layers will show you all the layers, allow you to merge the layer, clone the layer, copy layer, and adjust the layer, um, adjust for each each layer. <coughs> and um, all of, almost all the options shows up here. You can change the trans transparency of each layer and rotate each layer. So um, if I have a layer here, I can even rotate directly from here. See how I rotate it? Look at this one. So you can give the specific, um, no, even say 140. You can specify that directly here. So um, very convenient if you want to you know, rotate somehow. And for each of those, now you have a right click. Um, for a bit before, I don't have the too much right click options, but now uh, every most features are show here. So I can right click on this image, I can say clone layer. I can clone the current layer. So actually this layer get cloned. And I can say I can right click to switch to move resize mode. So I can move that layer. I can even resize it. Um, and I can even ro rotate afterwards. Whatever. And also there are all option all other options. Um, like select whole image, select uh, layer area, copy paste. Um, so almost most options are shown here. So there are selection tools showing here, um, which which you can do is say I can select area, um, and I can select this area, um, and then. I can color fill the color. Say I can fill the select region with with a color. Say I want to use a blue color, so I can fill the color here. Oh, see, um, when I see the fill the color, see, uh, it's using some patterns. So for the color and for this fill shape too, you have options to apply the texture as well. So you can choose the text, the patterns you want. And also, even sometimes you can use some kind of image pattern. Um, so if I use this one, and I check this one, if I do the same again, um, let me go to the selection tool first. So make sure to select it, and, and put it to this area. And I do that again, fill patterns. See, the filling with the image pat, image, um, the texture. Um, for drawing to drawing the drawing the lines, if I draw the green drawing line, I can just draw a line with that texture as well. You can draw a curve as well. You can click by click the point that you can draw a curve. 
double click and finish that. All right, so this just gives you a quick idea how those features are packed in Photobee, how you can use that very easily. It's very um, uh, straightforward. All right, thank you for listening to my first demo. Bye-bye.